All right, another Casio watch video. I'm just uh, I'm messing with you guys. Hey, we're uh, we're messing around in the garage today, and I was just trying to see what it would be like if if I myself was a mad watch collector. Um, the hair really ain't gonna do it for me, man. I I, just, I can't do the mad watch collector thing. So I guess I'm just a regular watch collector. Anyway, for this video, we're going to be sporting the MRW 100, or is it 200? Yeah, 200. Yeah, I already messed up the video. Um, sporting this one today, but we're doing a video on the Casio Royale and Friends. Um, the thing about the Royale and the Friends is all three of these watches share the very same case. So that's why it's the Royale and Friends video, or you could call it the Royale family video, whatever you wanna do. But if you take a look at these three watches, you can see they all, they all have a very, very similar look to them. Um, you know, the modules are different, the colors are different, the bands are different. Of course, mine are very different because everything I got, I gotta customize. So you're not gonna buy this watch and you're not gonna buy this watch and you're not gonna get this one with a stainless steel band. So actually the stainless steel band from this one and this one came from the MRW 200. Um, something about the silver paint, I'm gonna get into that here in a minute. So anyway, we're gonna get a close up look at these uh, three watches here. These are very popular watches, especially the, the Royale. I don't even know why they call this the Royale because it's supposed to be a reference or a homage to the James Bond watch in Octopussy, which was a uh, Seiko sports watch. And this Casio AE1200 sort of looks a lot like it, you know? It's uh, very similar, but uh, it's a homage to that watch. And for some reason, they call it the Casio Royale. And you think, wait a minute, didn't there... Uh, wait a minute, there was a James Bond movie called Casino Royale, but he didn't wear no freaking Seiko or Casio. I mean, what the hell? So where'd the name come from, guys? Why do we call this watch the Royale when it really has nothing to do with Casino Royale and has a lot more to do with Octopussy? So shouldn't this be the Casio Octopussy? You would think... But anyway, we're going to get into more detail on these watches. Um, this is an older release. It came out, I think, around 2012. It's the AE1200. They call it the Casio Royale for some odd reason, but it's the World Timer watch. Okay. And the other watch that came out at, in a very similar time frame, I think probably around the same time, was the AE1300 Referee Timer. But recently... This year, Casio, was it this year? It might have been 2023. It's it's less than a year old. The uh, the Knight Rider WS1600 was released. So this uh, watch here shares the same exact case as the Royale and the Referee Timer. So um, this is the newest one there from Casio. I give it the nickname, the Knight Rider Watch, and so did the Mad Watch Collector and a few other people because of this graphic up here, it sort of reminds you of the dashboard of Kit on the series, the very corny but awesome series, uh, Knight Rider. That was back when my hair was in style. But anyway, um, let's get into these watches. I want to show you the differences and what I've done to them personally, because I, you know me, I got to personalize all my watches, and uh, we'll show you what they're all about. So. We're gonna go ahead and flip this camera around so you don't have to look at this hideous creation. Uh, you know, I spent all day trying to get this to happen. I woke up, I uh, said, I'm not gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna wake up at the bed head and I'm gonna work out in the yard and I'm gonna sweat and keep messing with my hair and all that. And that's what I did just to make this video. So anyway, we're gonna flip this camera around and uh, talk more about the Roy Allen friends. So. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get into it here. The Casio Royale and family. We're going to discuss these watches and uh, 
go through what they're all about real quick and then um, the personal modifications I've made to them. So uh, real quick, this is the Casio Royale. Um, the AE-1200 is a world timer watch. This watch is, uh, if you travel a lot, this is a great watch to have. I mean, it's got world time functions. It's very, very legible. It's also got five alarms. So five alarms, that's real good. Hourly chime, uh, stopwatch, countdown timer, so many, so many things. Very, very common watch, very popular watch. You can get this watch in a vast array of colors. Um, if you want the one with the stainless steel band, you're not going to get the this uh, gray case I got. The gray case actually came from the AE-1300. Um, there's a reason for that. I'll explain it later. But anyway, uh, all three of these watches do have a screen protector. That is another thing that's nice about these uh, watches. On Amazon, you can get screen protectors for these watches for like dirt cheap. You get like a five pack for like six bucks or some shit. So um, it's nice to have a screen protector to uh, keep them scratches down to a minimum. So five alarms and world time function. You get the world map. Um, you can do so many things with, with this watch. It's very nice. Now, if you don't need a world timer, there's another option. This is the AE-1300 Referee Timer Watch. Uh, this one here does have world time, but it's more of a, uh, a watch for somebody that does a lot of uh, coaching or refereeing or time trials and stuff like that. Um, it, has, it does have a world time function. It only has one daily alarm, um, but it does have not only the countdown timer and the stopwatch, but it has an interval timer, which is very, very nice if uh, you want to, you know, time lapse and intervals and so forth. Um, the case that you see here, this bronze color case, is actually an AE-1200 world timer case that I swapped modules with uh, this watch and this watch. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, I got this leather cuff off of Amazon. It's got the uh, gold colored thread. It matches the gold colored case. It really sets it off with that gold colored, you know, countdown timer. This watch here is like my weekender watch. You know, it's pretty cool. It's very nice. I don't wear it to work. I don't want to beat it all up. Um, now, let's get into the Knight Rider. The Knight Rider is pretty much identical to the AE-1300. I'm sorry about this uh, camera setup. I... I don't have a production crew or anything like that. Uh, this camera is my cell phone. And it's really sketched the way it's set up. If I'm to bump this, I'm going to knock it over and screw the whole video up. But anyway, the Knight Rider WS1600, this is the same exact watch as the AE1300. Believe it or not, it's the same watch. The only difference between these watches is the graphic. So, uh, you see the three circles on the AE-1300? Well, the AE-1600 uses this Knight Rider-like dashboard-looking thing. And it does the same exact thing as the three circles, just a little more modernized, a little different. Another thing you'll notice about the WS-1600 is the, the LED is a little bit different. It's not as thick. You see the nice thickness there on the AE-1300? The date and time and uh, day of the week, very legible. Same with this, but it's got a little bit of a thinner LED to it, but it is still very, very legible. That's what set these two watches apart from the World Timer. If you look at the World Timer, now you do have, you know, your day of the week and date, but it's in this little tiny, you know, part here. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. But, you know, compared to the 1300, here we go. Bam, Sunday, 414, no problem. You can see it, no problem. And you got that nice circle graphic going on. I really, really like the AE 1300 because of its legibility. If I want to see what time it is, boom, there's the time, day, date, all, all at once. Uh, with the AE 1200, same thing. I mean, boom, there's the time. But... You know, when you get older, your eyes get a little bit weaker. You got to really focus in to see that date. So that's the difference. 
But what they did with the Knight Rider WS1600 is they sort of smushed everything up and changed the graphics around. Uh, they made the, if you notice, the day and uh, day of the week, or the date, is uh, very large, very easy to read on both watches. The only difference is the Knight Rider version has a thinner LED display compared to the AE1300. So there you go. I mean, there's the differences between the three watches. I mean, it's, it's not a lot. I mean, the cases are the same. The cases are exactly the same, but the modules are different. So first off, let's go into my personalization of these watches. Um, this is my work watch. Um, yes, I used to wear F91W and a few other watches that I beat the shit out of, and they're still going, but this watch here is the AE1200, and it did have a stainless steel bracelet with a painted, uh, look like chrome paint on the case. The problem is, is if you chip that off, let me give you an example here with my MRW200. You see those scratches there? This is that chrome paint they use. All right, it's not a plating, it's a, it's literally a silver paint. So if you scratch it and gouge it, they're there forever. And it's gonna look like shit. Um, the AE1300, which is this module with this silver colored case, it, this is molded in this color. So this uh, silver looking case is actually molded in this color. So if you scratch it, if you see it's a little bit dull here compared to here, I've had, you know, I've scratched this watch at work. You can see the little scratches on the black right there up on the top. You can literally take very fine sandpaper and go ahead and smooth them scratches out. I got the screen protector on it and the stainless steel bracelet. I prefer stainless steel bracelets because you know, when it's hot and you get sweaty, these are the best for the most comfort. That is how I personalized my AE1200 uh, Casio Royale. I literally took the case from the AE1300 and swapped the modules between the two watches. So there you go. This is my daily work beater. It's been holding up well. I don't intentionally try to beat it up, but these little scratches you see here, I can clean them up with a little sandpaper, no problem. It'll look just like new again. So the next personalization I did was with this watch. I really like this watch because of its legibility. And you know, the three circle thing, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little graphic, but it's a little bit dated. But uh, another thing, this case here is also molded in this copper color. So if you scratch it or gouge it, it's not going to show white or something underneath. You know what I mean? It's going to it's gonna look okay. You can see on the bottom here, there's a little bit of scratching going on, but it's hard to notice because the case is molded in that color. So on Amazon, I found this uh, smartwatch. I think the company name was Coobs, C-O-O-B-E-S or something like that. And um, I just used the original band and kind of slipped it through the leather cuff and I got this. So this is a, like a weekend warrior kind of a watch and uh, very, very nice. I, I really love it. It's a great watch, but what happened was Casio released the Knight Rider WS1600 on me. Now you cannot get this watch in with a stainless steel bracelet. If you want a stainless steel bracelet, you're gonna have to put it on yourself. The thing is, is you'd have to swap the case if you want a nice shiny stainless steel case or whatever. You can even go on the internet and find a real stainless steel or, you know, brushed case if that's what you want, if you want to spend that much money. So this is the different, what I'm saying is the World Timer is a great watch, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's got a lot of shit going on that you don't need. But uh, it's a great watch, and if you want to see the day of the week and date, you got to squint a little bit. And that's why I really, really love the AE1300, because that was a lot, a lot more legible, you know, day and date time, boom, boom, boom. Same exact thing with the WS1600 Knight Rider. Day, date, 
time. Boom, very easy, very legible to read, and a more modernized graphic on it. So this here is my daily driver. Unless I'm at work, I switch over to the to the Royale. And uh, this is a black uh, resin case, and it also has a screen protector on it too to protect it. But I wanted a stainless steel bracelet, so I got a little bit of the, the silver, black, silver, silver, black, silver going on. It's a, it's a very, very nice looking watch in my opinion. And to tell you the truth, this is my favorite. Um, I, there's only one con about this watch is the LED digits compared to like, you know, the 1300 or even the Royale. See how thick and fat those LED digits are? These are not as thick and fat, but they're both just as legible, just as legible. So out of my pick between the three watches, when the Royale first came out and I got it, I liked it. It's great. But once I found the AE 1300, I didn't need all the world time features, but I really like the idea I can boom, see the time and date and day of the week. Boom, just like that. Don't have to squint. Just like, you know, you have to with this watch because, you know, it's not easy to see that day of the week and date. But once they released this watch, they pretty much updated the uh, 1300 to a more modern or retro look with the, uh, the graphics and so forth. So there you go. There's my take on the Casio Royale and Friends. And there's my opinion Take it for what it's worth. Uh, choose the one that works for you. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go through the functions and features and all that crap, but uh, great watches, uh, 100 meters water resistance. You can't go wrong. So here we go. I hope you're uh, happy. And uh, if, you, if you really want a watch like this, you know, it's a, it's a larger watch. It's a nice watch. You know, pick and choose. There's many, many, many videos out there that will review all three of these watches. And a lot of the guys are giving this one here a bad review. I mean, I'm not gonna say a bad review. They just, for some reason, they're not happy with it, but I am. And my choice between the three watches is definitely the Knight Rider. I love the Knight Rider WS 1600. It's a nice, nice watch. It's a, got a modern retro look to it. Very, very nice, easy to read. So, there's my favorite from the Casio Royale and Friends. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and maybe you actually learned something today. I don't know. Probably not, but uh, I hope you had fun. I had a little bit of fun making a video. It's been a while since I made some videos, and I didn't have a whole lot of new content to give you guys, but, you know, I got some Casio watches I can share with you all. So, thank you all for watching. See you next time.